Tesla fined $2.2 million. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because this is a follow-on in some sense of an article we discussed yesterday. Tesla is being fined $2.2 million in South Korea because, well, their claims of range don't match up to reality. So, South Korea fines Tesla $2.2 million for allegedly exaggerating driving range of EVs. South Korea's antitrust regulator said it would impose a 2.85 billion won or 2.2 million fine on Tesla for failing to tell its customers about the shorter driving range of its electric vehicles in low temperatures. The driving range of the US EV manufacturer's cars plunge in cold weather by up to 50.5% versus how they're advertised online. And we saw that in the article we looked at yesterday about the brother and sister couple who were pretty much stopping every hour at one point to charge for an hour to ju- on their long interstate trip because it was so cold. It's just Keep this in mind if you want to buy one of these things. The Queensland government now is chucking money at you to buy EVs. Look at the real-life experiences of people buying them. So... Let's have a look. South Korea's antitrust regulator said it would impose a 2.2 million fine on Tesla for failing to tell its customers about the shorter driving range of its electric vehicles in low temperatures. The Korean Fair Trade Commission said that Tesla had exaggerated the driving range of its cars on a single charge. Their fuel cost effectiveness compared to gasoline vehicles, as well as the performance of its superchargers on its official local website since August 2019 until recently. The driving ranges of US EV manufacturers' cars plunged in cold weather by up to 50.5% versus how they are advertised online, the KFTC said in a statement on Tuesday. Tesla could not be immediately reached for comment. On its website, Tesla provides winter driving tips, such as preconditioning vehicles with external power sources and using its updated energy app, to monitor energy consumption, but does not mention the loss of driving range in sub-zero temperatures. These things are not suited for this climate. They're just not. not, You're not going to get the range. Okay, electric-powered cars, they're not, you know, (laughs) they're not the future, guys, honestly. They're not going to be as versatile as your petrol cars. In 2021... The Citizens United for Consumer Sovereignty, a South Korean consumer group, said the driving range of most EVs dropped by up to 40% in cold temperatures when batteries needed to be heated, with Tesla suffering the most, citing data from the country's environment minister. You know, I wonder when we will see aftermarket fossil fuel powered add-ons to heat these engines. Maybe a little kerosene burner that you have to help uh, heat the batteries. What what do you reckon, guys? (laughs) Oh, boy. Last year, the KFTC fined German car maker Mercedes-Benz and its Korean unit 20.2 billion won for false advertising tied to gas gas emissions of its diesel passenger vehicles. I remember that when it was all faked. When it was all faked. Yeah. This is the pro. How much of this shit are we going to find out in 10, 20 years' time is all just complete bullshit? You know, I, I, I bet you. I bet you. So, well, there we have it, guys. There's the article. Well, let, let's have a bit of a talk about this one. I mean, if you want to buy an electric vehicle, you need to look at your use case, look at the average temperatures that you're going to be operating in, and factor that into the range of the vehicle. And just look at, there's YouTube videos of people driving these cars nowadays in everyday applications if they're good or they're bad. But the number one thing you need to have is a garage where you can plug it in at home. Okay, that's how it's going to be. Because you don't want the bloody electric cords going out over the footpath, do you? Like we've seen in Sydney. Well, there you have it, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Are you going to rush out and buy an electric car or stick with your good old gas guzzler? Anyway... Thanks for watching. Check out Heiser Bim and Heiser Does. And if you're a fan of the channel and want to support us, you can on YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links via Pocket Squares or call us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. 
Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.